in emails. <laughs> there was another. Oh, there's Tana. There Yay! was another she button that we day. had to hit. My God, you know, I we were all ready to go. What was it? Uh, so there's a second button you have to hit in order to take things. This is an ad for a project management tool called Monday. Really? This is what it looks like. And this you're is playing what an ad like. on your own live. No, no, no! I don't want to. Do... I'm sorry. Okay, now go. I don't even have the ability. <laughs> okay, I don't have the ability to there do a that. retake. You don't know how to operate the button. <laughs> now it's muted. That's wonderful. All right. All right. Better We're live start. now. Are we? Yes, we are. How long have we been live? Uh, I've been rambling know. for quite minutes. some time. There's people showing up. All right, we got a card pirate. All right, that's awesome. Simon's here. Tana. Hello, everybody. Belinda. Pop, pop out chat. Oh, man. All right, I can see stuff. Let's make it, let's make it real big. You all right? Uh huh. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. You feel better about being able to see everything uh -huh. this time? Hi, Simon. Okay. So I get, let's, let's, how should I start? I'm not sure. I am a professional dental assistant. Like I have a license to practice dental assisting. Like I went to school and stuff and I took a test and passed board <laughs> exams and things. <laughs> So that I could do dental <laughs> shenanigans, okay? So nobody cares. <laughs> I don't, wait, I'm not sure that any of your patients would be happy with you referring to them as dental shenanigans. <laughs> and um, so uh, one of the tools that I used all the time when I went to work every day and stuff um, was these syringes, okay? They're not uh, like needle, they're not blood taking or giving needles. They're blunt tipped. For dispensing they're for precise dispen dispensing does that make sense I understand it so um, I mean, they're you, different you... than your uh, I mean it's not going to give you medication does that make I, I just I... don't want to scare people <laughs> right no it's I, I think like it's, it's not gonna hurt me I mean it could for sure <laughs> like if I came over there I could stab you Really? This, that's where we've gone already. You know, it I could was, make a prison see. shiv out of my <laughs> out of your blood tip out of my syringe. blood tip syringe. No, I, I mean, I think you've I think you've covered it. It's not. I mean, oh it, yeah, Happy Mother's Day, every oh, yeah. all the mamas. It's not today. It's tomorrow, but still, this is Mother's Day weekend, right? It is. Yeah, I've already gotten my way <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I mean, ultimately, I, I think it's. Um, I think you're 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 getting it. You you're getting it taken care of. To explain to them that um, these are they're not going to get hurt. They're not going to get stabbed. Right. They're, they're not, not have a puncture wound. Um, it's a very very. It's thick... not like having a blade or a, right. a a knife around. I mean, certainly it could definitely be uh, something that you have to watch out for kids. But um, yeah, I don't think I would trust Dexter with it. <laughs> Uh, Belinda Waters just said, so how can the average person acquire these precision Okay, so dispensers? that takes me to my next point. I started selling them because I had this, and there was a precision tip that I used to screw onto the top, and I used to have one around here still, but I must have given it away, or don't, it, I don't know, something happened to it. I give a lot of stuff away. If you come visit me, ask the people that have visited me. <laughs> um, so... You, you might have to hang on a second. People just got a, got their first shot of the glitter wall. Oh. <laughs> you well, guys that, need to follow let me that on marinate Instagram. for a second. You can see it in your shot, the Tim shot. Yeah, I just. I, yeah. That's, that's really what I was trying to do. I, I have to, to try not to look at it. Because I wasn't even looking at the camera, I was looking at you, and I was hoping people would look right past that, that sparkleness. <laughs> I have to, yeah, I do have to try not to look at it because it's very sparkly. Just like my shirt right now, when I walk past a mirror in the house, I'm like, ooh. You should that, come over here. Look at that sparkle. Come here. 
Come here. We'll, we'll take a break real quick. Come here. Is it shinier over there? I don't think. I, don't know. I come mean, here. it's pretty shiny over here with all the lights. Yeah, but come here, you know. But we've got like get over here. See what be he makes me do that. Go on, sparkle. He's sparkly. Woo! It, it is more sparkly over here. Mm. Maybe it's like <laughs> my proximity to the glitter wall? I don't know. I'm way more glittery than this wall. <laughs> Alright. Your head's big enough. Get back over there. <laughs> Now I'm going to watch myself be glittery because of the delay. Uh, okay. So um, I had this and the tip, the precision tip was on it. And it always used to clog and bother me and annoy me. And so I was like, why am I doing this? Because all day I'm at work doing this. What? Are you, people, are you people laughing at me? Cats just said, are you guys high and naturally cool? I think it's a funny question. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel like I'm naturally cool, but if you give me a couple drinks... <laughs> well, we did find... We did find I might some, forget that I'm cool. Some, what was it yesterday that we ran into? It was uh, natural light strawberry... Uh, it was something, oh, yeah. It was something My brother awful. drinks natural light. Like water. That's his water. If you get blood from him, it's probably just natural light. That's how much he drinks natural light. But they it's practically water. <laughs> <laughs> He's well hydrated. He's very well hydrated. Um, it sounds terrible, but it really, I mean, it's not really that way. <laughs> but they make a strawberry uh, lemonade, limeade, something ridiculous natural light I mean, and i saw it at the liquor store and i was like maybe i'll just start drinking this because i'm like we were joking about <laughs> me being the girl version but i don't know it probably tastes really bad anyway i don't know okay we're going no, off we're, topic we're just goofy we're, i i can't been, drink i have been, a heart condition and i'm on medication we've been preparing with adhesives all morning maybe that's maybe that's got something to do with it this has been in the syringe for like two years. I'm just trying to give money. I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to help you out. Where was I? We were not talking about we natural were, light. We were talking. We were talking about. Um, you were getting some clogs in the tips, I believe, is what you were referring to. Okay, so I was getting clogged multimedia mat. Um, so I was I was wondering like okay so I spent all day using this type of adhesive in your mouth. Okay, basically. And so I would come home and then get frustrated because I was trying to use adhesive, but not in a mouth on my card. So I was like, hmm, I wonder what it would be like if I put Ranger Multimedia Matte in my, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I just I realized why I was so uncomfortable. Oh, um, Multimedia Matte in my syringe. So I borrowed one from the office that I was working. I asked for it <laughs> and brought it home and I fell in love. I was like, this is what I needed to be less frustrated with precision adhesives. Now, since then, there are other types of dispensers and bottles and stuff like that that also do very fine adhesive precision adhesiving, right? Yes. So sure. this is not like the only way to be precise, but it is the most precise way and that's why the medical community uses it, right? So I started to purchase them and package them in small starter kits. Like, try this, okay? And it's not um, to make money. I wasn't doing it like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make millions. I'm gonna sell everybody these syringes. <laughs> Yeah, mm. but it wasn't like that. It was kind of like everyone was asking me how to get them. I first started to link to where I was buying them from, but it's confusing. It's scary. Nobody wants to Google this. What kind of list are you going to be on? <laughs> you know, like it was it, I was getting a lot of questions. So I was like, OK, I'm just going to get a crap ton of these. Package them all up pretty and be like, here, try it out. If it helps you, 
if it if it's easier on your hands if it's less frustrating if it's more precise if you just like that there's a green pretty tip <laughs> here try this um and then people do buy them and other crafters outside of the card making community buy them so you can most certainly buy them for yourself on amazon ebay um, your medical supply stores, you can drive there, like maybe some pharmacies. These are called Lure Lock, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. And they basically have a screw-on tip, in, and these tips, there are majillions. I don't know what word I was trying to make up, but there are a lot. <laughs> what did you call I it? I was trying to make up a really stupid number, but it didn't come out. And it came out majillion? <laughs> yeah. Which is still pretty good. <laughs> um, so you can get with brush tips. You can get with curved tips. You can get with tiny, tiny, tiny. What is the, like the smallest gauge you think they would have? I mean, they they can make these things all the way down. I mean, you can get lure lock attachments that make that are for that are for. Um, puncture you know what i mean like they're, they're for, oh yeah they're, yeah i mean so you can get a lure lock attachment for actual medical needs however like the i think it's also important to realize that these are these while they do originally come in sterile packaging they have right them, they so i get these and they're in like a sterile packaging because Correct. i worked for a surgeon so a lot of the tools that i used were sterile type tools and this was one of those things you don't want something that's you know it's not a, a matter of being used, it's a matter of being sterile, like not touching the air until it touches the environment that you're in for your procedure. So I take them out of the sterile packaging. They're no longer sterile. They're no longer for medical use. And they're, they're meant to be disposable. So there's no um, longevity, okay? This, I've been using this for two years, okay? <laughs> But if you clean it and wash it and reuse it or anything, it it's meant to be thrown away. And so I get a lot of emails like, oh, I've been using my syringe for the last six months, but now it doesn't seem to hold air anymore. It's because that this tubing, I guess, has broken down and it's no longer airtight, so it's not going to function as a syringe anymore. Um... Does that make, am I on the right track to answering questions? I think so. I was just trying to adjust my mic. Everybody, all, it seemed like all of a sudden everybody started saying that we had an echoing problem. So I'm not sure if it's, if it's my mic or yours. So Are I, we... I turned the, turn the game way down on mine. What are people, are there questions? Uh, not so much. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, we have, you know, we, we, we do the best lives ever. Oh. The, and you have the best channel ever. Um, and, uh, How long have we been married? We've been together seven years, but we've only been married since 2015. Four years. Although, <laughs> don't math me. I'm glad, I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sherry just said that hers only lasted two weeks. I, I think that's... Um, I think that's a, a, a good point to touch on. Right. Okay. So sometimes uh, they sometimes they will arrive in usable, and I have to throw it away. So I've plump <laughs> plunged. Plunge. I have plunged um, every syringe that I send out the door. Okay. So I have test tested it to make sure it actually plunges first before I send it out to you, but. In my job, I have thrown away hundreds of syringes that arrived to us sterile but not functioning, so I can't use them. So that could happen too. Um, like I said, I don't like sell these to make money or to say, hey, this is my product. This is not my product. This has been around for a long, long time. I just want to make it easier for people to try and so I can say, here, try this, mostly because... I get my hands hurt okay a dental assistant is the person that hunches over with the doctor when we do surgical procedures or any type of 
long procedures. Like I've been in surgeries that were five hours. I think that's my longest one, five hours. And you're in this position and you're using your hands and the dexterity breaks down over time. So I have a lot of friends that can't use those bottles or squeeze those things. So this and the way that the different ways that you can use it might be a way to help you. How do I show that when I don't have a problem? You have a problem with your hands. Like I get tired, but I don't hurt like you. I can show people. I, uh, I shot two nails through right there and they came out here and here. And um, I have a lot of problems with my left hand, especially holding things. Like even like sometimes just a cup of coffee, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll drop it because the, the nerve damage that's in there. So I know that anything that, that anything that I can use less fingers, like I can put a plunger into the palm of my hand and, and squeeze it with my fingers and I can still operate a syringe without, uh, without using my thumb at all if, mm -hmm. if, I'm having a, if I'm having a bad day. Right. So carpal tunnel is a lot of like dentists and people that use with their hands like that. That's a real thing. And even us as crafters, we're going to get sore. I mean, we're going to do this rep repetitive thing over and over and over again. And maybe thinking outside the box might help you. I don't know. They come in all shapes and sizes. This is just my preferred use. I used to have these pink ones. Are we on the down? So I used to have these pink ones in my kits. And I changed that today because the curve is fun to use for things, but it's really not necessary. And I, I got it because it was pink. <laughs> but they clog sometimes, and you can't get a good size pin in that 18 gauge uh, crook of the needle tip. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. <laughs> I'm, I put them for super cheap, less than what I paid for them um, in the shop. So if you want to try them, go ahead, but if they get clogged, you have to throw it away, which is what they're meant to be done. They're very cheaply made pieces of plastic and metal, right? They're not high quality. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you have to... Because of the nature of which they were... Right, they're intended. Intended, they're intended yeah. As a, as a medical device. So they're intended for one use and... So the tips that we get, they're... they're they're not, you can't even find them domestically because they're not intended for that purpose. So um, those are probably the hardest thing to find, but that's the only thing that we could find that would actually give it any longevity whatsoever. Um, brush tips, you said something about a brush tip? Yeah, they have, Amanda asked. <laughs> um, they have brush tips. I'm not sure how to search for that, but I have seen that in my career uh, in the office that they have dispensing. It's basically the same thing, but the tip is not just a metal end. It's an actual brush, not like a Copic brush tip or a um, paint brush tip. It's more like closer to the micro brushes. I'm adding these to the kits too, because these I find these are really helpful. You can get these on Amazon by the thousands. So these, and they're they're different. They look really similar, especially since I can't see anything. <laughs> um, but they're this one, the white one, is a little you bit puffier. Probably, you could probably lift those you think? To oh, I'm sorry for that terrible noise. That would probably help. There you go. Hold on. There you go. Can you see? Yeah. I feel like I'm just kind of standing there. No, I, I, no, <laughs> I can't see anything because no, of the fine. delay. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you're good. You're fine. You, you don't have to do it any longer. Okay. You can see that. straight line on your hand. It's kind of funny looking. Do you want... We can't... We can't tell that story yet. We're not comfortable with the... With the people <laughs> enough for that. <laughs> um. So, here, this is the black one. Can you see that one? And it could just be that one's white and one's black but I kind of feel like when I'm using them that the white ones are a little bit more absorbent 
Can you see that, huh? Yeah, they're, they're coming along. And, and actually, on the on the camera right now, you can actually see on, on that those two examples that you see right there, it mm -hmm. actually looks like there's more cotton on the white one than and it could on, just, the, on the black one. They probably tell us here on this packaging here, but I've looked before on the packaging to see if I can see like the difference. But it'll have super fine and then all these colors, which black is 1.2. But I think they're both 1.2. Yeah, they're both 1.2. Yeah, but I think they're both graded as 1.2 millimeter uh, micro brushes. Okay, well then that's what they are. Anyway, I'm adding those to the kit because I like to use these for a gazillion different things, but mostly to get down in here because you can clean it out. Do that a little bit closer to the camera. Remember, you're not on Oh, the I'm, am I in the, like this? There you go. Yeah, you're not on, you're not on Sorry. the camera. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> filming this. This is, look at that. I got out some yucky adhesive that had gotten down in there. Now it's super, super clean in there. I've had this syringe. I'm not even kidding you for like two years. Okay. I've had this one probably almost just as long. This one has the old black oh, wow. tip. Yeah. So um, this is Nouveau Ebony Black. And I do this because the dot of the eye. It is good to start off. I haven't done this in a while. This. There it is. And so it'll start, it'll keep coming out of the tip. As long as there is pressure back here, there it'll keep coming out. Okay, so you wanna test it, small amount, small amount. And then pull back on the plunger and it sucks it all back in. And then you just put your tip on and you go about your merry way. But there, that is the tiniest Nouveau drop in the history of the world. I don't want to make anyone nauseous. There that is. makes no, me good. nauseous. Good. Okay. <laughs> is that good? Yeah, that's good. So, like I said, is it necessary? No. It is not necessary to have such precise precision. <laughs> Questions? Um, all right, so I did see one up a little ways up about gauge. These are, these are, oh, uh, Stacy Amazed by Life. I, okay, I like the 18 gauge. <laughs> now, my softball number growing up is 18. Even as an adult, I made sure that I was number 18. So I like the number 18, but the difference between 18 and 17 is, I mean, <laughs> huh? 16, yeah. sorry, 16 and 18. Um, is so, I don't, I, you'd have to decide for yourself. Maybe there's a thicker adhesive that you wanna use in your syringe and you have to go with a wider gauge. Or maybe you are uh, adhe using adhesive to use Swarovski, 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 Swarovski crystals, and you want precise, super precise precision. Cool. <laughs> and, uh, Sometimes you can know. even, <laughs> yeah, and you can <laughs> even put adhesive on the end of your micro brush and like just dab it on like a paintbrush. That works too. But um, I get a lot of questions because it's, you know, it. Pe I'm sure other people do this, but I don't, I don't think it's really out there that it's an option, so. Well, and I, I mean, the other thing, too, is that in order to do it, I mean, we buy these things hundreds at a time, you know, yeah. because you have to. And know, nobody box. wants to do that. Nobody wants to buy a yeah. hundred of these. There's no need for one. I don't need a hundred of these. Right. That's a lifetime supply. I've been using this one for two years. Even the tips, maybe I'll, if I set it down and I don't go, come back to it for months, maybe. But like this one, 
I never replaced the tip and it's still functioning. It's not clogged, it's not dried out, but you have to use the silicone caps. That is absolutely necessary for it to stay airtight because there is a hole <laughs> at the end of the, of the syringe. So if you don't put on the silicone cap, then you're gonna have problems. Um, and probably only as much so as the tip will. It's it's really a, will dry up. The, the shortest the shortest uh, path to failure is the tip. Yeah. Know? Once you get your hands on a, a couple syringes that you like, you just buy new tips when you need them, and they're not expensive. Yeah. I mean, it might even be worth somebody if they could. The problem is, even with the tips, you got I think the smallest lot we can find is like fifty tips. You know. So, yeah, and that's like a lifetime supply right, of tips. Right. Right. So. Um, if I had that many to give out like that, I would just be like, hey, you want some tips? Here. <laughs> Merry I'm Christmas. Sorry. Here's some tips. I'm sorry to everybody, but I'm trying to flirt the line between being able to hear me and whatever echo keeps happening. So um, sorry if I, if I keep I really, out. really wish that we could like figure out the sound. I think I need to replace one of these mics with a, with a different directional like because these um, directional mics that we have like i think what's happening is they're picking you turn up yours over here. towards you I, I have tried cupping it shielding it i've been trying all kinds of stuff to try to to try to do that but um yeah i apologize everybody can you hear us so i mean can they hear us it just sounds weird they're, everybody is reporting that they can hear you just fine um, it's just it's just me again and then so like when i turn the gain up on my mic it, I get echoey or something. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it starts to drop out, so. Well, Tim is hard to hear. Yeah, yeah. Does any, uh, what is the questions? Because um, that's Julie, why I wanted this Julie live. Julie something about she's in the UK and um, said that she was kind of put off by the, by the postage amount. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, unfortunately, that's just. I do, about. I don't do it any special way because, like I said, I don't really do this to, to make money. I just kind of. Uh, share the idea with people <laughs> and so I go through Etsy and like right now I had to raise the price of the starter kit because Etsy raised the shipping cost for me so I can't go negative in the in the money so um, and the hardest thing to find are these silicone tips if anyone finds a better way to get these <laughs> silicone yeah. tips <laughs> yeah, those, uh... I tried making them myself. Yes, we did. I tried making, I bought like a silicone tube and I was like, if you heat the end to seal the silicone, it may not be pretty looking, but it'll seal the end of your, what happened with that one? We couldn't get it to seal. Nothing hot heat, enough. I couldn't heat the silicone hot enough to seal the end as we cut it because I needed, I needed to be like some 1700 degree anvil. Yeah, like a we still have that. We could still try some things, but I don't know. But that's, you know, it's just something fun for us to figure out. Like, oh, can we make these? <laughs> but um, I really love it for really thin die cuts like these. I just used it this weekend when I was doing some crafting for Neat and Tangled. These are the Neat and Tangled journaling dies. And where's my... Oh, there it is. And... Um, but your, your everyday glue, just spit at me, your everyday glue syringe or glue tube or whatever glue you're using is really just fine. But if you have a hard time using them or you find that the bottle like it, it maybe doesn't dispense the way that you want to or last that, I don't know, I'm making stuff up. But I just put a little bit down on there and I don't have my rainbow tweezers. So, thank you, honey. Tweezerless. I think they're on my cart. That's under Deadpool. It's under Mr. Pool. But, uh, yeah. And then I usually put, like, an acrylic block or something heavy. This is the, um the way that I buy the stuff for the inside. And this is the cheapest way to buy liquid multimedia mat per volume, I guess, right? And 
I just I do have another video on my channel. It's an older video, but this technique has not changed. <laughs> you really just and it's a little messy. Thank you, dear. But you literally stick it in the top like so. I hope everyone can see. Maybe I'll turn it like this. I can do it with one oh. hand. I didn't have the luxury of having an assistant. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I had to do it myself. Okay, so you just kind of dunk it in the tip of it anyway and pull back on the syringe. I'm sure other people have experienced this type of... <laughs> I didn't bring any paper towel. And then you can use a microfiber cloth or anything and the less you dunk it in, the less the tip is in. You can't use the tip tip. To draw it. No, right. that's not gonna work for you. That is a very small hole. So I know that you want to try that. Do, don't try that unless it's liquid, like water. <laughs> what about removing, I mean, you, I don't know, it's probably not good for the syringe itself, but if you really were going to just use it for a single day or something like that, you could probably pop it back out, but that would break the seal and encourage leaks if you disassemble the syringe. You can absolutely disassemble the syringe, soak it in soapy water, clean it all out, and reuse it another time. Now, like I said, this plunger breaks down over time, but I have put them in autoclaves multiple right. times and used them for things. So it, it, they're durable, but I'm just saying like, they're meant for dis to be disposable, but like I, they ca are capable of lasting years, depending on how you use it or what magical syringe you got, I guess. So, and then you just put a tip on, here's the pink ones. You can also clean out in there before you put the tip on. That would be good. I don't really do that, but you can. <laughs> and that's it. Then make sure you have your silicone tip and you're going to expel adhesive. There is going to be air trapped in here. You want to try to pu like push up on the syringe as far as possible before you pull back and get a, s a small amount of air. But that's it. What's happening? Um, what about glue? Uh, Michelle just asked how uh, how do you get glue in the syringe? Like I guess if you had like a like a bottle, like a, you know you would use the you disassemble it. Like if I was if I had this. Right. So if I if I had this and I was trying to transfer this into here, you could absolutely. You want to pop one? Just no, one. I'm just. For, for example, like, if this was empty, you could sit here and squeeze it in there. You could absolutely do that. Um, it's going to trap some air in there. You're going to have some air in there, but it's going to happen anyway. So, um, there Maybe there's a nurse in the crowd <laughs> that might have more experience than me with this and have some kind of handy trick that we all don't know about or I don't know about because my experience is limited. But I know that there are more experienced medical professionals or even crafters that have used this before. Maybe they have a, a tip or a trick they could leave us in the comments below. But that's how I do it. Um, when I did the black Nuvo drops, I actually I pulled the, this tip comes off of your bottle. I don't wanna do that for this one, but um, it comes off and then it makes this a wider mouth and that's how I put it in here. Like I pull it right over top of each other and pulled it out. Kind of like kids medicine, like Tylenol, how they have that suctiony tip. That's really handy nowadays. I remember my mom had to like pour it. It was like a bucket and she had to pour it into this little tiny cup. Tylenol, like kids' medicine. And then I would run because I did not want it. <laughs> now you know where Dexter gets it from. I had swollen lip nodes one time when I was a kid. And the only thing I remember about the entire experience was the taste of that medicine. Yeah. 
Like bubble gum? I mean, That's amoxicillin, uh, buddy. I love you very much. And I know my time with you is limited. And it scares the heck out of me. I'm good. Yeah. You are the most accident prone person I've ever met in my life. I love you. I'm going to tell you every day because I don't know. <laughs> Something's going to happen. I'm going to get a call. People are going to show up at my door. Oh, yeah. Well, people are definitely going to show up. <laughs> okay. Are there any other uh, questions? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was looking at you. I wasn't doing my job. Yeah, please do your job. Wait, didn't you set up the computer so you could read the comments? I'm trying to. Uh. Most of them, uh, most of the actual questions. Um, Stacy's saying that she's got a, a storage, and I'm trying to make it two parts, and I'm trying to find it. Um, said that she was storing them with a pin in the end, kind of at an upward angle, and it was allowing her, um, I can't find the comment now. A pin in here? That's what I'm understanding. Like in the tip in the tip here? Or a tip a pin no, in, in here. The, yeah, in okay, the, so yeah. instead of the silicone cap, she's putting a pin in the tip, which whatever residue of adhesives at the tip would kind of dry up a little bit, but then the cap of the pin would then kind of act as a hat. I, I think that's what and she stores them kinda at an upward angle, like uh, almost an angle. I would imagine like the angle you have. I have a pin somewhere. I think I was organizing my sewing table and they're all over there. <laughs> um, Stacy the card pirate is asking if Tombow Mono will work. Do you see any reason why that wouldn't? I don't see any reason why any of the liquid, the like white to clear liquid adhesives that I've used, I don't, I've not come across anything that I wouldn't try to use in the 18 gauge. Um, something super, th I mean, I texture paste. Don't put texture paste in there. <laughs> Um, that's too thick. I think that's not going to work for you. But um, I don't think I have any other. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have any other liquids. I don't know. I would be careful mixing your own like because I've thought about I could put white Nuvo drops in there and mix my own colors of Nuvo drops or something and add glitter and have whatever. My, my brain is a very creative brain and it's crazy it's definitely i'm crazy it, it, it lacks, but i know this so it's okay it <laughs> many, many days. um let me just ask uh once again if you could go ahead and go over what's in the kit and uh, oh okay yes, so the Etsy shop. we'll make sure that that's uh down below in the description we're yes. amateurs people <laughs> huh you put it in the description i didn't set up this you did you will i don't do links Right, so I didn't my, do that. Not my job. Right, so I have to do it after. Right, but um, it'll be in the description. I just right. Sure. Right, there you go. What was the question again? About? You said someone asked me a question, and then you went on the tangent about the links. Oh, uh, what's in your kit? Okay, the kit. So I used to do a 10 mil and a 5 mil of pink tip and a green tip and the silicone caps. But people would get clogged in the pink tips and I'm, I'm at a loss. Like, I don't know what to tell you because once they're clogged like that, you can try soaking them, but I just throw it away and get a new one. But because I, you know, I, you don't have a gazillion of these probably, that's not how you can use your adhesive today. So, um, I'm just going to get rid of the pink tips. And we're going to have two green tips. And this is just a way for you to try it out. You can certainly go to Amazon. There are a lot of, I'm trying to control my made up words. Um, you, there are a lot of different options. Just be careful because um, you can't clip these, okay? Because that's going to pinch the end. And then you're not going to get adhesive out. So you have to cut it with a Dremel tool. 
like a blade, a saw, right? You have to have, in order to cut through it, because there's stainless steel tubing, you can't, you can't cut them, even though you can get through them, you'll crimp the end if you try to cut them with any kind of a scissoring tool. You have to use something that's fast enough and thin enough that's going to cut it without melting it. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to cut. Really, the size, you know, you're finding the right size for whatever you want, don't try to modify it. Bad things are going to happen. Yeah. Just buy the right size. If you're gonna find, if you're gonna source, source because they'll the they'll come in it. longer ones. Like the there'll be a cheap kit. Ooh, I can get all this for five bucks, but the tips are two feet long. Right. You don't need that. You don't need to use adhesive from across the room. So uh, you have to be cognizant of all of the. I'm trying to get a, a link because people are asking for that, and because we're amateurs. We did oh, not provide that. Doing <laughs> I'm doing it oh, are you? <laughs> right now. I think this is correct. I don't know. Copy. Now I lost my chat. Way to go. Oh, there it is. No. Oh. <laughs> it says sign in to chat. I can't. How do I? And it won't let me sign in because you're signed in. I tried that. Why did you sign in? I thought I had to. Dang it. I have it copied. I have the link. <laughs> anyway, it will be in the description box below. I love the syringes now since you showed us. Uh, yes. There are dental tools at Harbor Freight. Wow. Um, I love Harbor Freight. They have cool stuff. That's where I got my um, camera toolbox. Well, what is now the camera toolbox? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, the electric cigarettes. We've heard that before. Yeah, I saw a lot when um, when we tried to. I don't know enough about electric cigarettes. A lot of times, what I found with those with those vape pens and things like that, the refillable kits that they have, like, they're usually like half a millimeter or a half a milliliter, one ml, you know, like one cc. Um, they're usually very small. Like, they're, like, the whole thing is small. So, like, I mean, these are five and ten. Okay. You know, like, I'm just saying what I've, what I've seen on most of them. What are they using for? I guess the, the juice, the vape juice. Oh, okay. The, yeah. the liquid? Whatever they're turning into vaporizing smoke. I don't, I don't know enough. <laughs> the stuff that goes in the electronic cigarette, that's what they're using the tip for. So maybe that's another search option for people is sure. um, electronic cigarette dispensing tools. Yeah. Well, re, you know, refilling. refilling. Or probably just e-cigarette tools. Like, yeah. Like, so maybe see what you can find. Maybe there's something fun that way. But um, I want I I really just want people to be able to craft and have fun. And if this helps people that have sore hands to craft and have fun, then I'm gonna do it. So as long as people have a need, I'll do it. If they stop buying them, then I'll stop having them. Right. Well, <laughs> I only really restock when I run out. <laughs> Roberta says to make each other moderators. Uh, and, well, unfortunately, because I have to be moderating her page on her studio on YouTube at the same time she's trying to watch it, you know, watch the, the chat. She really just should sign in under my name or something. Oh, I could be at Tim Wisman. No, never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Um, I'm not trustworthy. Liz wants to know what adhesives you've tried in syringes. That is how I avoided that one. Well, multimedia matte, the Nuvo Drops, Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. Um, what else have I put in the syringe? 
think that's it. It's not that many. Because I don't really have a need for that many different liquids. So I've never no, purchased them. I've tried, like, Nouveau, mm -hmm. uh, Nouveau drops. So, like, do you, is there, is there anything The like... consistency of a Nouveau um, drop, crystal drop. Not the stone drops. I'm not quite sure what, what would happen with those. Because they have, like, a gritty um, uh, texture to them. I haven't tried those, but I would think anything that's th as viscous, using big words, as Nouveau crystal drops. Anything more than that, anything that's super thick, like a texture paste kind of thing, like if it's, if it holds its shape in any way, don't put it in a syringe. <laughs> Tracy said that um, she got a kit from me and loves it, but hasn't tried the pink tip yet. Is there any reason why she shouldn't? No, you should. You can use it. It'll last you for as long as it lasts you. But I just can't, um, like, they've clogged on me and they've irritated me, so I'm not going to irritate people. That's not the, that is not my goal. <laughs> so I'm not going to have them. I'm not going to buy them anymore. Because if I'm not using them, I'm not going to give them to somebody else. Well, I, I googled on your computer um, <laughs> e-cigarette tools. So thanks. Your, uh, your Amazon <laughs> and your Facebook and everything else. So my computer thinks that now I'm a vape vape nation. Vape nation. <laughs> Is that what Kaylin said? I have no idea. The lady came home the other day and asked for a jewel. It took me about I still don't know what that is. Was. I don't know. But I other things that have that were called jewels before. We don't need to talk about them on this channel. You know what? I just want to point out for like the umpteenth time on a live, you already brought out some sexually suggestive information. Me? Yeah. It's my fault. I am the instigator. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I uh, bet Aileen's, Aileen's would work well. I have that, the tacky glue. That's... Just fine. It's a, a comment in the, um, uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, the glossy accents. I have used glossy accents. It's glossy accents is really good. I do find that it's the first one to clog, but that's because I think it's like super sticky. Um, but you can put a pin in the top and relieve that. And the other thing um, is to, you know, just a tip for you is make sure you draw that material back up into the into the body. Right. Before, before yeah, no, so before you tip. put it on your silicone cap or whatever the pin, would, before you put a pin on it, um, draw your syringe so that most of it is sucked out of the tip, okay? So you're going to pull the air out and the tip's going to be cleaner than it would have been. So it'll take, it, it'll be less likely to clog. Um, Linda just said, art clear glue bottle clogs fast. Any kind of a glitter or any type of an additive like that in the... Is it glitter? I don't think that's glitter, what they're saying. Art glitter glue is like... A, oh, is it? Yeah, but it says glitter glue, but I don't think it's glitter. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I saw this on Mary's adhesive. That was a great video. As a, I mean, as a, a precaution, like, don't put glitter into the syringe. Yeah, no, that's it's what I'm saying. Glitter. Like, it's I don't know glitter. about, like, making your own... Nouveau drops or stuff like that. Like, be careful putting things any in your. Of, any kind of, anything that's yeah. Not a or semi if it does, if it keeps its form in any way, shape, or form, don't put it in the syringe. Yeah. That's probably good. Yeah, that's a good rule. I mean, Nouveau drop. Probably the, the most forming. Well, that over time will, well, but seven, as a right. as it's as this form, it's fine. Sure. But if it hits the air, then yeah. just like any glow. But like the the stone drops, how they have that, you know, that sand kind of in there. Right. I don't. I don't think I would put that in the syringe. You're talking to me like I know what you're I'm sorry. About. I, I thought you paid attention to me when I talked. Okay. Have we talked about oh, this I know. enough? Now you're, everybody's telling me the art glitter glow. I know. I'm, I'm ignorant. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm schooling him. Um, yeah, no glitter, no but glitter, with glitter, or brick, don't right? Yeah, no, no, no solids in there. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen any questions. Uh, 
Oh, my uh, almost. And when you when you put out so little tiny amount, it's already dry. It dries really super quick. Oh, right. I well. said adhere. That means I owe Tana a baby clothes pin. <laughs> it's a, it's our joke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> when we were at On The Make, I tried to play the clothes pin game that you play at baby showers, but with the word adhere. And I totally, we all totally forgot all about it the whole time. Not one person exchanged clothespins. Then we all got home, and Tana wrote adhere on hers and put a picture of it online. <laughs> and that was my, <gasps> we totally forgot. <laughs> she got all the way home and did it? So it was... Or at least to the hotel. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because that, that had to be like the next day, right? Yeah, no, no. I think it was like that night. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we will on the make is definitely happening, but it's coming probably this summer. So all the people that have been asking me about when the next on the make is, it's we're planning, we're making plans, in my shiny shirt. <laughs> How long have we been online? Um, I think you started. No, 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 no. For this live. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. For this event here that we're speaking on right now. The name of the tips are, well, the, they're, I think you want to look for lure lock syringe tips is what you want to search for if you're looking Uh, Sherry said, what is on the make? Is oh. There, could there be someone who doesn't know? Um, me and my friend, Mary Polenko. She's P Mary Polenko Designs here on YouTube. We um, started making uh, crafty events. We're making people get out of their craft room and come craft with us. And we call it On the Make. So we had On the Make a Valentine extravaganza. And now we'll have On the Make something else soon. That's what on the make is. That's a bad teaser. I, is it a bad teaser? A Should I have just not said anything? Probably. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm excited. You should be. It would be a fun time. Yeah. I think I'm going to stay here. No. You can't give anything away. She said, I think I'm going to stay here. Yeah. You're definitely coming to On The Make. Yeah. You, you can shake your head. Not on camera all you want. <laughs> You're my muscle, baby. I'll hire you somebody. Who? Don't, don't care. care. And don't even say JP. You're watching. <laughs> I don't love you. <laughs> I'll take Austin and Mike. Go ahead. Okay. Is there any more questions? <laughs> I forget that we're live on YouTube sometimes. No. Yeah, we've been on for fifty-one minutes. All we right. can we can well, wrap it up. If there are any other questions. Leave them in the comments below. I try to respond to as many as I possibly can. Um, the I'll make sure that the Etsy, if it's not already there. Did you put it there, babe? No. Forget it. Um, oh, Dexter. Can you get Dexter real quick? Because uh, um, he's supposed to show his present. Wasn't he down here already? He was. I sent him back upstairs because he's crazy. Uh. Look, I got... The sticker is still on my pretty bowl here. I got it for a dollar.
You don't have local card makers here in Jersey. I'm uh, I'm in Baltimore. That's local. That's the East Coast. The East Coast is not local to us, sweetheart. The East Coast. I, I consider I can, if I can drive up and down 95, it's local. It's not. You don't like road trips. <laughs> Come here, baby. Do you want to show everyone my Mother's Day gift? You want to come here? You don't have to if you don't want to. No. Do you want me to show it? Okay. So, he doesn't want to be on right now. So, can you put on the down facing? Which, are we down facing now? Okay. So, um, this is my Mother's Day gift. Of course, he couldn't wait until tomorrow. <laughs> he gave this to me. Well, no, he first walked in uh, the door and had the baggie and said, I can't give this to you until Sunday or my teachers will get mad at me. And I was like, okay, well, it'll sit right there until Sunday. And then, of course, he lasted a couple hours. He lasted yeah. longer than any of my other kids. <laughs> And then um, he made me open it. So that is his awesome bowl. And then this is Hayden's. My oldest son, he gave me a similar bowl. Now, this was made when he was in, yeah, like third or fourth grade, not five years old. But, you know, it's more, it's got handles. It's a little bit more put together. <laughs> I think they're both awesome. I'm not picking one. No. Okay, you, because Hayden doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, that's okay. All right, so any other questions, concerns? Uh... Can you explain how Tim cuts down the six inch roll of double face tape <laughs> with a chop saw? Um, yes, that was a, yeah. And you probably do, you probably should use uh, like a new blade. Go to Harbor Freight and get like plywood, blade. plywood bra blade and use it as your adhesive cutting blade. Yep. Yeah. Next. Uh, let's see. I wish the questions were rapid fire. Then it would be like a game show. Uh, let's see here. Um, wow, a whole bunch just came in. Yes, they're going to be my die cut. Like I, I bought this one for a dollar, but these are way better. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I've got all my little die cut pieces in here. I'm gonna keep them. Right next to me, I've kept Hayden's. Hayden is now almost 16 years old. So, I mean, he's in high school now. But I still keep his bowl close. Ben, but then again, I think if you asked him to make another one, I think Ben would look remarkably similar to that one. He made me a car, I think last year. And it, it's... He is not crafty inclined like the rest of everyone. But that's okay. He's very smart. <laughs> Are we good? Uh, I think so. I said, Jenny says bring Tim to the next make the cut hour adhesive. Oh. Everybody just bring <laughs> rolls and get in line. That would be fun. <laughs> Almost like like a knife sharpener. You could be an adhesive cutter and have a truck. Did you uh did your syringe fund your glitter wall? No. <laughs> no. no I <laughs> The glitter wall was actually quite expensive. Yes. The, the, the glitter wall was a, was a remarkable expense that none of us foresaw. And if we would have, we probably would have gotten like that glittery wallpaper. Yeah, I think <laughs> hindsight is always twenty twenty. If I want to do another glitter wall, I'm probably just going to go get glitter wallpaper. Yeah, this was this was an experience. I think it was cool. I don't know about the cost. What, do you think it would have been cheaper to get the wallpaper than the... Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I was trying to be cheap. No, I get it. I was trying to be I, DIY. I, no, this was DIY. More well, so. I had originally planned to use 
the glitter paint, Rust-Oleum glitter paint, the clear stuff, and then use the, um, and mix in some of the glass and stuff that you get from the craft store. But um, then, sorry, I lost track of what I was saying. You wanna sit on my lap? <laughs> okay, so um, mix in the glass in the, in the paint and then roll it on the wall. But we did some testing and Tim didn't think that that was the best way to go. And Austin said that he'd seen like this super glittery wall. So we changed our plans and then we no, ended up having to do it twice. I thought Austin would party. have really Austin great Austin glitter plans. <laughs> Yeah. Like if I wanted to leopard print something, I'd call I Austin. Austin. Absolutely. I don't do glitter. I hate glitter. Which I, I'm really thinking about leopard printing my closet. His leopard print closet was awesome. So <laughs> that yeah, you can touch it. It's so awesome, baby. Do you wanna show everyone? Yeah? Go ahead. How did you make it? Well, I put, I made clay the first day, and then I put it into a pot shape, and then I painted it pink, and then you can put your jewelry in there, and then you had to let it sit and then dry out, mm -hmm. and then in a couple of days, we um, had to give them out. And he said that it was for my jewelry. But I don't really wear that much jewelry, so my die cuts are more important than the jewelry. <laughs> so I'll keep them next to me all the time. Thank you for sharing it with us. Okay. That was very nice of you. Do we have any more questions? Uh, Dana just asked where that three tiered thing was, and uh, somebody else already asked. It's a four tier, it's Harbor Freight. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your procrastination got you back. They already knew. My procrastination. Love them. Is he on camera right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we've been on here moseying. So, um, I think that's it. If it, it, it. I hope I answered some questions. I think so. Because. Yeah. Is that big one? Uh, where did you get the oh, black cupcake stand? Is that it? All right. Cuddle time with Dexter. It's officially Mother's Day. I want ice cream and Oreos. <laughs>